Well, as you can see, I've been hanging some sheetrock over here in the new shop. A little bit of stuff left here in the office and we'll be pretty well ready to move in this place. So we're finally getting there. <laughs> but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video, we're going to go salvage yard hunting for some more parts and pieces for the C50 so we can keep working on this thing. And then also I've got that list stuck together for you guys of a bunch of other builders that are in the build off so that you guys can go and try to find some of their content and check out what they're building. And before we go, I'm going to announce a giveaway that we're doing. So stick around to the end to make sure you don't miss nothing. All right, so I just got out here at Pfeiffer's and we're going to check around and see what we can find for some parts and pieces to work on our uh, C60, C50 build. So come over here to where the Chevy pickups are, at least they're starting over here anyways. I know that these two cabs are here, so I was going to take a look at these real quick, see if either one of them is going to be something that would work for us. I'm going to start out by looking for stuff to make our sleeper with. If you remember, I'm going to try to take two truck cabs, cut them, and try to make our sleeper. So... Our first one here that I was remembering, it's actually a little bit worse off than I was thinking. It's got a piece cut out over here on the side. I don't really understand what somebody was doing there. It's kind of a weird place to cut one up, but uh, yeah, the, yeah, the bottom's kind of folded underneath too, and it does look like it has a little bit of filler in it right here. So my plan is to probably cut it somewhere right along in this area right here. We'll probably have to put a new roof on the whole entire thing, a new skin to make that all work. But somewhere right in that neighborhood, I think will be about what we're looking for. This one was all stripped out pretty good. So that would have been a pretty decent candidate to start with if it had a little better back on the cab. This one up here, it's gotta be a 69 or a 70, looking at the matching front clip here. It's looking a lot better. It actually looks like a fairly decent older cab. Is pretty well stripped out though, but uh, yeah, not seeing not seeing much in it for dents or dings or rust or anything on the top. I can't really see the rockers. I guess that cab corner over there is kind of messed up. We'll get over there and look at that one in a second. I can't really see this one either, but yeah, there's something there doesn't really matter too much if the rockers are rotted out or not. I mean, we're going to be welding all this stuff up anyways. We can weld some of that up too while we're going at it. Pretty nice looking door, actually. There's some rust going on up over here on this side. So yeah, somebody put a rocker on that one already. And body filled the back of it so there's definitely some damage down there that would need to be addressed but nothing that we can't handle like i said but there is some other trucks over here so we might as well go look at those real quick too kind of catching him when he's getting ready to crush out a bunch of this stuff winter time he likes to clean his rows all up and you can see all the stuff that grows in between everything if he doesn't do that so kind of probably already missed a couple kind of looks like but we'll go over here and look anyways what else there is we also do need some pieces for our trailer so we need some bed pieces to do that and i'm seeing several beds right here so we ought to check these out right here real quick that bedside isn't too awful bad as far as rust and stuff but the bottom being rolled over is a little bit of a problem no tailgate probably going to be hard pressed to find a tailgate i'm sure they're probably already all gone Oh, big dent down there. The front of that one looks pretty good. Be a good candidate. So what I'm kind of picturing here is we'll take the whole bedside here off and then we'll probably add on like another front section here to the front of that to be able to get the length that we're going to need. And then also at the back, we're going to rake the back of it and slant it in. So you can kind of see we're going to end up needing two beds to be able to do that. Two complete beds or two sets of bedsides anyways this bedside's not too awful bad either it does have one side that's kind of pulled underneath but might be able to kind of straighten that out a little bit and walk over here and look at the next one that one's hammered in pretty good top of the rail looks pretty decent not too bad somebody cut the whole side out of that one so that one's not going to do us much good. 
There's a bunch of doors and stuff here. And we got another cab. This bedside, if we could fix that front there, this bedside would be maybe usable. The rest of it looks pretty decent. The cab is definitely a no-go. It's done got the good out of it. Not much left of this one at all. So we've got another one over here. Let's take a look at it. That bedside's pretty hammered all the way down it. Cab's looking a lot of body filler in the cab, it looks like maybe, potentially. Not that that's necessarily the end of the world for us, but cab corners are in it. There's all the gauge clusters out of a bunch of them. Anybody need a gauge cluster? This side of the bed's pretty hammered on this one too. I don't know if that's going to be much we can use there either. So a couple more options over here. There is one that actually has the tailgate on it. That is something I didn't think we were going to get an option to have, but um, it's not real good. That's the reason why it's still here. Let's flip this around. So yeah, it looks like it was actually a pretty nice tailgate, but it is hammered. Hammered, hammered, hammered up here at the top. I'm not saying I can't fix it, and I'm probably going to have to because I don't know that I'm going to be able to afford to not be able to fix it. But uh, we do have some pretty good bedsides here on this one. And this one over here. Looks like it's pretty good shape too. Although, look over here. That's not a real great sign. I'm going to walk over there and look at that some more. It's already caved in here. I don't know if you guys can see it on video or not. You can kind of see the cave in, but yeah, what's going on here? We've got some quality body work that's been going on here where they stuck that thing together. So I'm guessing there's probably a seam right here that's been all welded together and Probably body filler from there to wheel well. So that kind of sucks a little bit. But the cab, yeah, the cab's got a little bit of rust in it there. The sun is brutal. Cab corners aren't too awful bad. Still has a little bit of a rocker in it, so we got something there to weld to, I guess. Well, look around and look at the other side. <clears throat> we got some more rust up here, so this whole top's probably a, a little thin, but it might be okay. That's pretty well right there is where I'm going to cut, right at the top of the wing window. At least that's what I'm thinking at the moment, anyways. Halfway solid cab corner down there. Although we really don't know what's been done. I bet there's been one put on. Can we see evidence of it? I do not, actually. At least, not yet. So that's kind of surprising that I'm not seeing any evidence of anything being put on there yet. The door don't close. It sucks about the bedside over there, but I think at this point, that's probably what our options are going to be. So it's probably what we're going to have to use. There is, however, another C50, C60, something like that truck over here. And I'm hoping the fenders aren't too bad on it. Let's take a look at it. I can get over there. This thing's been here for a while. I know the motor's already gone and whatnot out of it. It does have a lot of rust there in the floor on the rocker and the fender. That kind of sucks. Oh. Hold on one second while I regroup here. Okay, so I've regrouped my hat back from the tree and my coat. Now we can look at the truck again. So yeah, I need this fender to have that flare. It's either that or I'm gonna have to build something from scratch, but it's gonna be way easier to probably fix this fender than it is to build all that from scratch. Hopefully the other side isn't any worse than that. There again, I can't hardly get over here. This thing is, this one's been sitting here for a few years. So you can tell all the 
trees that have popped up. And well, I don't know if you can see it or not in the video, but these trees have thorns on them. So I'll flash you back when I get you a picture of the fender over here. Okay, so I got over there and looked. I can't get you guys over there because I'm getting attacked. But um, that fender on the other side is about a little bit better than this one. Not by much from what I can see. There's a tree growed right up there where this rust area is at that they're really prone to. So I don't know for sure, but I think he's wanting to get all this stuff over here cleaned up from what he was saying earlier. So this one's probably a good candidate to uh, be an option as well. And we can get the uh, fenders off of it and the cab off of it. Then the rest of this one's probably ready to go into the crusher. So there's Terry now moving some stuff around. Let me holler at him and see if we can get some prices on some of this stuff. Okay, so I got Terry out here. I'm gonna show him some stuff here and see what he's gonna say for prices. So I'm thinking the back of the cab or half of the cab on this blue truck right here and the bed for that one. And then you've got the C60 up there that's got the uh, back of the cab and fenders, the front fenders I need to be able to weld to the side of the bed and make the bed have the same fender flare. And then I also probably need a couple more bedsides from some of that stuff over there. So what are you thinking on prices? No. With everything you buy all the time, I imagine probably a hundred bucks a piece on the bedsides. Okay. And then probably a hundred bucks on the back part of the cab, cut off the posts and across there. Okay. Imagine that it work together. And then the front fenders on that one, you think? Uh, I imagine probably about 25 piece on them because they got rust in them. Yeah, I think I can still fix them though, but that'll work because I'm just going to peel that one piece of skin off and put it right over there. So. Yeah. Okay, I guess I need to uh, gather you up some money real quick here. and <laughs> <laughs> Maybe over the next week or two or whatever, we can get some of this stuff tore apart and I'll get her to town. Well, how about this? So yeah, I was out at Piper's yesterday. We was looking at those bed parts and everything. And then I get onto Marketplace this morning. And actually, what well, not Marketplace. You just posted it on your regular Facebook page, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Page. Yeah. So my buddy Skyler, he posted that he just picked up this bed and uh, actually a whole trailer, a little tongue on it and everything. And then he was asking if anybody's interested in it. So uh, I'm like, dude, I'm interested in it. This looks like half of our trailer almost already i don't know that we'll actually be able to use any of the suspension or anything underneath it but it's got me thinking now so anyways so we're gonna unload this thing and um what's our deal on it how much 200 200 bucks so add that to our list of uh cost on the truck Well, it's been a few days and they've got the uh, cabin bed off for us on the uh, blue truck. You can see it back there. Terry wanted us to cut it, so we're going to go ahead and uh, snag it up, take it in town, and we'll get it cut down to something that we want to work with and we'll bring the rest of it back.
Now the floor's gonna suck because you can't go all the way through and hit the trailer. heavier than I thought it was. So just a bunch of like filler from the factory? Is that like a bunch of compressed just crap? I don't think it's from the factory. I don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of a old school epoxy or something. All that fill out of the rocker? Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. There's part of the door jam. <laughs> So in our last video, we talked about how cool it would be to compile a list of everybody else that's in the build-off that is putting their builds out there in internet world for everyone to see. And we have kind of got a list started here. So we've put together the people that uh, we knew of beforehand. And I'm sorry, I feel like I've forgotten someone. And I can't think of who it is now. We brainstormed. <laughs> this is... You know, some that you guys have commented because we put it out there last week that we wanted it, and then yes. some others that we just happened to know. And yes, we feel like we're forgetting somebody. So we did. We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> and call and us out. Please, call me out on it. Please. Yes. And, and yeah, apologies ahead of time. All right. So first off, the ones on YouTube that have YouTube channels that are putting their build on their channel, um, so you can follow along. Probably other places besides YouTube if they're doing it on YouTube, but but yeah, but videos want, that we can you can all follow, we can all follow. Follow so. on YouTube if you want to go there. We've got Colorado Grown and Nixon Garage, Merrick Makes, Metal Devon Customs, Radical Rats Garage, which is Joey Woodall on Facebook, Rat Rod Garage, which was Simon Says Garage. So if you follow that one, it's now Rat Rod Garage. Peace and Grease, John, uh, John Show Car Builder um, said that he is going to be building, he's um, in the Rat Rod build off, but he's still in the collecting part, so it's not on the, his YouTube so channel. Videos yet, to come. But videos are to come. And then there's a bunch more on like Facebook and Instagram. We're not big on Instagram, so if there's extras there, we don't know about them, please continue to comment those as you know. Uh, but we have Gertz Rat Rooks. Um, head, heads up hot rods. The Psycho Silo Saloon is not technically in the build off, but they thought it sounded fun, so they're building something for the for the build off. And they're building something really cool, so I'm kind of <laughs> jealous of that. <laughs> yeah, and they don't have to listen to the five thousand dollar rule, so yeah, it's awesome. They're fun. They're, they, they're they neat all, people anyway. They also made a Facebook group on Facebook, of course, that uh, is the rat. I should have wrote it down. It's um, Rat Rod Magazine Build Off, build off yeah, Rat Rod 2024 build off, yeah, something Psycho like Silo Saloon, I think, something like that. Uh, so you can go there and comment and do stuff too. Rat Rod Magazine made one as well, but you can't comment on it or something. So anyway, um, we're going to put these down. Oh, there's, wait, there's more. Let me finish. Paul Lyons, Robert Hill, Gary Dunn, and Jake Welcher. 
So I'm going to put this list with the with all the YouTubes and these Facebooks on our um, uh, Facebook page. So go to our Facebook page if you're wanting to know any of them. That's Corey. Oh, Corey Dunn. Yes. I'm sorry, I can't read my own <laughs> handwriting. Corey Dunn. <laughs> Does that just not sound right to you? Did like, you know it? Yeah, I'm like, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to put it on Facebook so you can see it. If there's anybody we missed, if we missed you or you want to be a part of it or whatever, um, put it on, on the comments of that post so we can kind of keep track of everything. And after we hear about it anymore, then we'll update that post or make a whole new post. So it should be pretty easy to find on our Hardcore Fab, uh, you, or Hardcore Hardcore Fab Facebook, Facebook page. So, page. so we're going to keep track of all of that over there. We thought about keeping track of it over here, but that's really complicated. And then you got to go find which, which video, video was, was and all it that, that we stuff. talked about and then read the descriptions and find them. And, and it's kind of, it's just easier if we put it on Facebook is what we decided. So that's where they'll be. Hey everyone, Paul Anthony is up there hanging up our new Rat Rod uh, banner that we got from Rat Rod Magazine. I wanted to talk to you about a new giveaway that we're having. Uh, through kind of an error of ways, uh, we ended up with two of those banners and I talked to Tracy Ripley over at the magazine and she said, well, why don't you guys just have a giveaway, give it away on your channel, that'd be fine. And we thought that's a great idea and we wanna help promote uh, Rat Rod Magazine because we love the magazine and all that they're doing. So this is what we've come up with. Uh, we want you to go to the Rat Rod Magazine YouTube channel if you haven't been there yet, you really need to go over there. I will put a link to it in the description below. Go on over there, subscribe to the channel, and then they have a video that they posted about nine days ago called Tools, uh, Tools for the Trade Visit. Uh, that's a northern tool promo thing that they're doing with some uh, high school kids, um, teaching them some skills uh, about you know, using tools and everything. It's a really awesome program that Northern Tools is doing and Rat Rod Magazine is helping them with. So go there, see that video, comment on that video. Doesn't matter what you comment, comment that you subscribed or whatever you want to do, um, but make a comment there and we will be picking a winner for that banner from those comments on the Rat Rod Magazine YouTube video. So head over there. Um, we are going to be announcing that um, winner, not next week's video, but two weeks video. So you have two weeks to go over there, subscribe and comment. If you're looking at this and watching this video and it says that it was posted over two weeks ago, you're too late. But otherwise, ooh, that's loud. It's an awesome looking banner. I'm sure you want one hanging in your shop too. And I guess if you don't win the banner, you could always go to ratrodmagazine.com and buy one like we did. Yep. And, and they've got just, they've got other designs too, but um, that was my favorite. So that's the one you're getting because that's what we ended up with. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's about all we got for you guys on this video. So I guess we'll see you guys next Wednesday at 7. Bye now.